Welcome to another episode of the Kinseed series, and this episode for the first half we will be going over the price or the song of price and higher update. So expect that for about like the first half of this episode. <laughs> um, for a general view of what's going to be going on in this um, patch is you can now um, buy the goods store, play where you can place items, barter, manage staff, earn reputation, and a couple of other smaller things were added as well, some of which makes what has happened to the goods store apply to the blacksmith. So that's the general view. Now to get into the more nitty gritty details of this update. So obviously first off, we can now own the goods store. We could pick items and set their prices for each podium and where customers will browse and comment on items which give you hints on what they're after and what price seems right. You can also sell animals that you own but you have to make sure to feed them so that they stay healthy enough to sell. Customers will occasionally come by with items to trade in which might get you a bargain to sell on. Hire staff to run the counter by choosing some existing uh, NPCs in the local haven each will have unique stats which will um, change how much they expect to be paid and what they do for you. Over time they'll gain experience and level up but as they level up they'll expect better wages. Uh, workers will have a stamina gauge which will go down each hour. You can either make it so they don't work as much time or you can feed them <laughs> to keep their uh, stamina back up. You can gain reputation with good customer service and reasonable prices, all of which raise your region and world reputation. The reputation will slowly rise from your shop's local region and then eventually spill into the world, and once it does that, people from different havens will come as well. It also unlocks perks to get more customers, allow higher prices, better bartering skill, and unlike unlock customers from faraway regions. Each region has its own preferred items, prices, and the like. The reputation, they note that the reputation system is still very much a work in progress. Um, and so it's likely to change in the future. This is just kind of the foundation that they wanted to start with. Let's fish that apple out of the tree. Um, the blacksmith shop now allows for a second worker to carry out crafting. Their stats affect their success and the quality of the result. To aid with the second worker, the black ship, the blacksmith shop now has its own stock of ore, which you can order for when you don't want to contribute your own ores. Higher levels of reputation will unlock better ore that you can buy. So that's something we kind of looked at in last episode and I didn't <laughs> really figure out and then got stuck in the menu. I think that's one of the fixes they've done. Uh, the goods store and the blacksmith shop are now available to purchase in Poppy Hill with their own music variations as well. The ledger has some improvements for the additional sections now available. You can access the transaction list in the accounts tab to track what's been going on in your shop. And for a help screen, you can now press F1 to bring up some information. Um, they did the first pass on the notice board added to Candle Witch, which now adds events to the calendar. And I think we kind of glanced at that at some point in the last episode. It added all the events to the calendar, so we don't have to remember those on our own, which, you know, I wasn't. <laughs> They've set up for the strawberry and blueberry jam recipes. NPCs who own good stores and blacksmith shops now more closely match the way the player version works, which I think is probably good. Uh, I mentioned this in the last episode, but now the sickle and the sword do are the only recipes that require sharpening, so you don't have to sharpen your bucket. <laughs> the bartering minigame now varies from speed and size of the target plus the number of rounds based on the item in question and the customer's skill, which is I, really nice. I like that. There is now a goods market and a chicken race available and fest filled. Shops can handle a queue of up to six people now. The item screen now should group items by star rating and the inventory should now show count per star rating in the selected item panel. There's been new key bindings for the blacksmith minigame. And then shop cures now take a break between complaining. So they are just complaining continuously. They'll, they'll like simmer down and then complain again. Various minor 
um, UI fixes. And then there's a couple of different bugs that were fixed. Uh, one of them of note is the local map now shows the player's name for the stores they own. NPC info on querying should show all likes and dislikes instead of to fill in. The aluminum goods will be uh, ordered by customers if the player has found some, which we did experience in the last episode. Uh, shoppers that come to the lemonade stand should match the current haven only. This is a big one. Fix of the blacksmith shop customers not always paying for pre-ordered goods. So we finally, hopefully that is fixed. That's something we've seen a lot of. But yeah, there's a couple other fixes there uh, that you can read on the Pixel Count Studios website. I apologize for all the times that I've called them the Pixel Court, <laughs> but it is actually Pixel Count. So yeah, that is all of the patch notes minus a few bugs. I am so excited to be exploring this new update. It's the It looks like what's cool about the store is you can kind of have your own themed store. Like you don't have to be like a general good shop. You could do something like sell only food or weapons, or you could do like a farming store where you sell seeds and you know, tools for that. So um, I think that's really a neat way of allowing some customization for that shop. You also get all of the inventory when you purchase the store. So anything that's here, we will just inherit. So is this where we buy it? You can only bu you buy this one for 500. I feel like the blacksmith was way more expensive. But let's go ahead and stop up at the blacksmith. Let's go ahead and change this. We have everything ready, which is good. Ugh, we lost quite a bit of money on those two days. I'm not entirely sure. This must have just been his um, paycheck and then him not working very well. <laughs> I did want to fire him um, and try to get a new one because he's not getting any like, doesn't seem to be getting any experience if this is like a, a progress bar and we've had played a couple of days so he should be and he wasn't really taking in very many orders like all of the customers were just standing there so yeah I'm gonna have to hire fire him and hire somebody new if we decide to keep the blacksmith shop because it's um it seems like a silly thing to have both <laughs> at least for now um so yes this is the ordering screen that I didn't understand before I think there was another button here and then here is our world reputation very nice. Uh, so maybe we'll leave no one working here and we'll just leave the blacksmith closed for now. People can come by and pick up the things they've ordered, but I don't want to be actively managing them both quite yet. Not until I have a better grasp of each. So we need to make some money. So I'm going to go fish a bunch and then we can run the lemonade stand and try to earn up to that 500. We now only have one pig. Huh. Maybe they're both sleeping right there. We'll see in the morning, but I should have two pigs. <laughs> it looks like the notice board information did not stick, so we'll have to go grab that again. Yeah, I only have one pig. I should have one that I purchased at the market, because this is... Truffle, so he should be the one I popped. So I don't know why my other pig is missing. No, I forgot to get the board, but I did know that it was going to be a market today. We actually haven't had much in the way of seats for a very long time because I could never remember what day this happened on. So I'm going to buy all of these. All two of them. Ooh, more of them. Yay! And then we should probably make a sacrifice to the goddess. Can we do it here? Yeah. Make an offering. Let's give her some blueberries. There we go. Pig market is not today. Ooh, but it looks like maybe the races. Which pig would you like to put money on the line for? Bet up to three brass. Yes. <gasps> Ooh. Uh, let's see. Four to one, five to one, three to one. Hmm. Porky Rossi, Dasher, Trot Along. <laughs> oh, these two pigs are named the same. That's funny. I 
going to vote on this one because it's purple. Uh, let's bet two. All right, go little guy, go. Oh, their little animation is so cute. Oh no! Is this one of the dual named pigs? Oh no! <laughs> she did not finish. Come on, trot along! You're gonna get beat! Come on, come on, come on! This is so close! Come on, trot along! Who won? <laughs> Dang it! That was a close one! Alright, well we lost our two breaths. I wish my stand was as cool as theirs, but it's not. Let's sell. Except, and let's sell some strawberries to start out with. We're just gonna kind of bounce around and sell what we've got. I also wanted to sell all my... It doesn't look like it allows you. I was like, I'm gonna sell all of the Jandit Lions, but that's a no-go. So I guess we're gonna start with strawberries. Get out of here, Mr. Winky. Put some clothes on before you go to where there's children. <laughs> they will complain if the price is wrong. Okay, that's good to know. They won't pay five coins for some rotten apples. As you would expect. I was just curious. I'm gonna go sleep and then we'll finish off the lemonade stand in the morning. I always call these bowing, Nancy, but I think it might be bowing. <laughs> Uh, the trouble with words being spelt similarly. Ah, uh, good morning. Let's go ahead and make our donate. Okay, we shut the door. Didn't know you could even do that, but I've done it. Ah, uh, let's go ahead and donate one of these. Because it's a five star. Let's go ahead and feed the dog. Let's have one pork from our pork seed tree down there. This is a cow pet. Give it a feed. And then feed our one pig. There you go, buddy. So, gassy apples can be sold for more than four because they were just coming on the instantly purchasing. So I think that means it's lower priced than it they would expect. So I've brought it up to the five. I figured because it was a gassy apple that everyone would want to pay less than a normal apple, but maybe they just don't know what a gassy apple is. Oh, I actually ran out of gassy apples. Oh well. Uh, let's go ahead and head out and get our store. They were always upset in this store anyway. They need somebody who's better at running it, I guess. Unless that's changed, but it just seemed like he was never here. I need this. Shall we bargain? Alright. Oh, some people seem to be picking up their stuff with blacksmith. Let's buy it. You now- A new shop provides new opportunities and free stuff. In case- In this case, shop's current inventory. Alright. Oh lordy. Uh, open your store, interact with the sign outside. Yep. It will only close when you leave the region and there's no workers employed. Got it. Ledger on your counter has useful pages, accounts, staff, shop. This is where hours, reputation. Most of this is the same for the blacksmith. Stat. Each NPC has 10 stats, and four of these come into play when working at a good store. Speed affects the speed of service. Barter, their bartering skill level. Charm offsets any negative reputation from slow service or overpricing, and stamina. How long they'll work before tire tiredness affects their other stats. Okay, that was inf good information. The worker gains experience and levels up to improve these stats. Certain recipes and items may also increase or decrease their stats, as well uh, as, well as the effects of aging. Ooh. Hmm. I was thinking about doing like a grocery, but if everything's gonna spoil, hmm. Customers have a threshold on what they will pay for items, too expensive and they may buy but be unhappy, affecting their reputation. Customers love things way cheaper than the base price though. It's worth watching their comments for guidance. As your reputation grows, so does the threshold before they become unhappy. Bartering, there's a 50-50 chance that a customer may want to haggle. 
to serve as a customer stand at the counter and interact. If the barter wheel appears, press the relevant button to stop the pointer in the green zone. Win and you can eke out some extra brass with no effect on reputation. Okay. Reminder added. Alright, so accounts, staff, shop, and status. So that's just, yeah, okay. So I think he was the one that was originally... No, he works somewhere else, I think. Moon and Sons of I guess we need to change that, because we are not a moon. So yeah, you can see- oh, it even highlights the relevant um, stats in yellow. <clears throat> you can uh, hire children. Don't recommend. They can- this guy's actually got pretty decent um, speed and stamina for being a child. I like that they have these stats. I wonder if these other ones will be affect like other shops or where they'll come up in the game. But I don't think we need to hire anyone quite yet. Here's our hours. Rename. Uh, we'll leave that for now because I don't know what we're going to be selling here. So we can pick up all of these things now. Do we just click on it? Ah, so this is the recipe. One star for five gold. You can set for price. It's pretty much everything. Nope. Three to twenty. Wow. So how do we take nothing? Like put nothing up there. Add to box. Add all. So you can add the number. File slime. Hmm. So maybe I need to replace what I have in my inventory to get the what's here. So let's take here and put the rotten apples. I'm going to add all of them. This is the bargain tray right here. So if anyone wants to pay one coin for some rotten apples, it's for them. Set, set item. Okay. Yes, this is the bargain bin. <laughs> this must be where we can sell pets if we want. Glad we got a ring for free, because that's 50 coins otherwise. There needs to be a way to remove a certain number from the box, because I didn't want to add 15, but I misclicked. I finished putting all of the stuff into the store, uh, but it was like 2 in the morning once I did, so <laughs> I decided to come home first, take a good rest, and then we can go ahead and head back and actually open the shop. Oh my god, there's apple trees down here. I completely forgot about them. We have somebody picking up an item here at the blacksmith. Yay! But before we go into the shop, I want to make sure to grab this notice board again and hopefully this time it saves it. So now if we go to calendar... There we go. Alright, let's head in. Oh, let's open up. There we go. So, we've got some like flowers and stuff, some produce and the like. Let's see how they feel about the prices on the things they look at. I'm not sticking around if there's nothing I want. Okay, well she doesn't want any fruits or flowers. <laughs> Sorry. What about you, sir? Nothing you want. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what you want if it's not flowers and food. <laughs> and one, one ball. Because I had four of them. And I don't know how to use them. So I sold all but one of them. Hopefully. Oh my god, another customer. <laughs> it's been two hours and no one's come in. <laughs> Do you want something? Something fishy here. I have loads of fish. Got three of them. Nice prices. Oh, good to hear. Better buy this. Okay. Looking to barter. All right. So we're selling a tomato for six. Yes, I guess that's fine. <laughs> barter didn't go in your favor, did it? Ah, she didn't want anything either. Oh, thanks, friend. Do you need something? Sometimes I think they get stuck there unless you like back away from them. <laughs> I wonder if something fishy here means it's bad there are fish or if he was 
he would be willing to buy fish. <laughs> oh, window shopper. Nothing. Hello, kiddo. Ah, she wants some fish. Let's tackle. Okay. Or not. I like the idea of running like a themed store, but I wonder how hard it would be to do if a lot of people have something very specific they want. Because the majority of the people who've come in are like, oh, I don't, you don't have what I want, and then they leave. So if you have a very specialized shop, will that be a problem that you face? Not entirely sure. Hello, window shopper. You want to come in? No, that's okay. Oh, he did. He changed his mind. Welcome. A load of rubbish, and he was looking for like an animal. It looked like. Is there a I don't know if that's actually an indication, but he did come over here to see if there were things. Which there were not. Did you change your mind? Maybe it's not a load of rubbish? Maybe there's something you can't live without? Ah, it's a moonfish. Good choice. How is it closed? I'm here. It is not closed. Maybe this is the time most things close, or this is because this says at 18. Hours are to 18, so even though it says it's uh, open outside, perhaps having this in the background is a problem. Let's see if anyone else shows up. Oh, okay. Smelly. How do? Hello. Let's discuss price. Alright, five was good. So they seem to complain that there's a fish. Because they don't smell very good. So that's good to know. I do wish there was a way to have empty slots. I'm gonna go ahead and close the shop. There we go. So it looks like it might automatically adjust the price of what you're selling uh, to the price of other things, other instances of that in the shop. So if I go here, it clearly says that it's um, five coin. So then if I go put a dandelion, it automatically sets it to the four. So I wonder if I do that, will it change all of them? Oh, no. I guess that's the more, that's... A very nice standing line. Much better than the other ones in this shop. I'm just using that to fill in the spots until I have something better to put there. I think I might run to the Fey Realm and pick up some ingredients there. Ooh, a fun flower seed. Happiness comes and spreads its seeds. And then I will grab the songstrel. Plant these to make Sweet corn music. <laughs> Anything else to purchase here? Okay. Just thinking of the stuff we could uh, grow and sell. So like those flowers and things. It'd be cool to do like an ingredient shop. So like uh, flowers and the kinds of things you find out in the world and sell those. All right, we have quite a bit to, s to plant now. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Get all our cabbages. Because now we have um, the rain to water, but we also have somewhere to like sell it. So it'll be useful to get these guys. Some wheat. Oh, I missed the cabbage. Several cabbages. That's what you get for not paying attention while you're working. We have the songstrel, sunflower, and... There we go. So it looks like when it's fresh, when you first plant it, you can swap them out, and that's what I've been doing. Alright, good. Go ahead and put the blueberry away. Ooh, picked up a little sap. That's good. 
I don't know what those are used for, but I do know they could probably sell very well because in Tirnanog that thing is worth probably more than anything in that shop. So might be a good thing to collect and sell. All right, let's go ahead oh, and open the shop. There we go. Gonna adjust this just in case it has the same problem to like well late. All right, there we go. We went ahead and ended this shop of hours just in case that becomes, um, caused that person to leave even though it was open. Hello. It's not closed. She changed her mind. Hello, sir. Hi, you, you need some dandelion. Get to here. Looking to barter. All right. Five it is. <laughs> Harumph. Welcome back. Ooh, she'll take one of those. Good to hear. Can we bargain? All right. Six for that, please. All right. Thank you very much. I love this guy's nose. It's so floppy. Very well. Yes, I am. Looking to barter. All right. He'll just give me the floor. That's fine. For a 50-50 chance, I'm sure getting a lot of people who don't want to um, barter. Haggle. Hello, ma'am. I don't see you around these parts too often. Hope you're doing well. Oh, you're gonna get a little full. Doing well? Yes, let's discuss, discuss the price. One dollar. Seems fair enough. Good. <laughs> Can't go any lower. <laughs> suppose we should shut up shop here. There we go. As the sun sets. Let's see if we can look in here. Uh, Alright, level. We've got... 586 to go and it doesn't show me how much I've earned so far so interesting so we've got a lot to go before we unlock our world reputation a few perks we got noon select shop select shop to view Ooh. okay up and down to select oh we can look at our other shop here <gasps> very nice so that one has more to go. Okay. Very nice. We can look at our stock. We can do all the stuff from here in one book and we can cover all our shops. Sure, soon we'll own all the things. I like you can just be in essence the um, the company that owns all of the other companies and let them handle it or you can personally handle them depending on the like who you um, employ. So I think that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed checking out the patch notes and our first glimpse into owning a store. You'll have to get, let me know what you guys think of that and if you guys have any opinions on what kind of stuff we should sell and what we should name the shop because we are not Moon and Sons. Um, so yes, let me know that kind of stuff down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.